Hello and welcome to Watch Mojo. I'm Andrew. And I'm Nick Fury. And we are looking at the Spider-Man Far From Home teaser trailer. Not really a teaser, definitely more in the trailer. Yeah, I don't feel very teased. No. Got, a, got a good glimpse of the movie, I feel like. Yeah, so let's get straight into it. So you want to talk about Feast? Yeah, so this seems to me like a reference to the fact that in the comics and most recently in the PS4 game, uh, Aunt May is working with homeless people a lot, uh, really plays into the fact that she's like a very nurturing person. A lot of people have complained that this Aunt May isn't a lot like the Aunt May from the comics, and this seems like a, a cool way to bridge that gap. Hey, sorry I'm late. So this is funny, I'm gonna try to get it. So this says Pepper Potts. Yeah, big uh, donation. Big donation, because in the shop before, we saw that they hadn't quite reached their goal. Right. So I think this is just sort of Pepper Potts is coming in and being like, oh, here, now you've just blown your goal <laughs> out of the water. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So this is a big one. As far as the Spider-Man of the MCU goes, we have heard zero about Uncle Ben so far. Is that true? Has there really been no... There's no mention by name. There's maybe hints to like some sort of tragedy that happened. I remember there's a mention of like, oh, all that Aunt May has been through, which could be uh, a reference yeah. to the fact that her husband died. But people were really worried that another Spider-Man movie would be another origin story, and they kind of went the complete alternate direction where we get none of it. Zero origin, no Uncle Ben whatsoever. So this could be an interesting way because clearly this is... Uncle Ben's B. suitcase. B.F. Parker. Yeah. Ben F. Parker. Which is a nice little nod. I don't know how into the story of Uncle Ben they'll get in this movie, but it does seem like this is at least a nod in the direction of, the, you know, it Peter still happen. keeps worry, yeah. Uncle Ben in his life somehow. Yeah. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. So I think this shocked a lot of people. This surprised me. I was not expecting Nick Fury to be in this movie. I wasn't shocked or surprised, there were rumblings around the internet that Nick Fury was gonna be involved. What I am surprised is that they revealed him in this trailer, you know, we're still months out from Endgame, and as far as we know, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home had been announced, we could all say, okay, you know, Pete's coming back. But for the rest of the characters that disappeared in the snap, their fates are still relatively unknown. But now we've pretty much confirmed, nope, Nick's going to be okay yeah, everything, too. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. People are going on vacation. So everything's great. Uh, yeah. Do you think that hints to some kind of like, maybe like time travel? You know, like the world doesn't know what happened because it got undone? Yeah. That seems to be the going theory. And this trailer almost confirms that. It doesn't seem like anyone's too torn up about the fact that, you know, months or even, even if we say that this movie takes place a year after Endgame, world's pretty well adjusted. Yeah, everything's sort of just completely Everything back to seems normal. okay, so that's good, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome! So here's the new suit. Yeah, this is like, this isn't the same suit. We, we see his old suit in a couple of shots in the trailer, but this yeah. is a new one. This is a brand new one. This seems to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. created suit given to him because he did leave his suit behind in uh, his New York apartment. Yeah. What I like about this suit is the uh, dark features on it. It looks really like sleek. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Otto Octavius Superior Spider-Man suit with the black and red Oh, this color little palette. blue and a lot of yeah. black. Like that's just black like the whole way down. Right. Uh, yeah. This kind of has some of that in it uh, uh, with uh, also the triangular kind of angles on the on the red going towards the middle. I, it kind of looks like that. It's not as much as the superior Spider-Man suit where it really is like a mid triangle. This one seems more traditional Spider-Man out, outfit, but it does have elements of that. Yeah, uh, so it's based on existing Spider-Man suits, but not necessarily a suit from something else. Right, it's its own thing. So the, the villains, as far as this movie is like letting us know early, are the elementals, which are kind of like obscure Marvel villains not super well known, but a big reason that this seems to be the going theory is that we have guys like Molten Man and uh, Hy Hydro Man in the Spider-Man mythology, like in the rogues gallery of Spider-Man, but this character is kind of different, which leads people to think that he's actually uh, a character named Magnum from the Elementals, and that actually 
maybe instead of Molten Man and Hydro Man, we'd get the fire and water elemental characters from that group instead mm. of Hydro Man and Molten Man. Remains to be seen. I know there's people speculating about rights issues to those characters. But they cross over with Mysterio too. Doesn't Mysterio work with those guys in the comics? I think he does. I should have probably looked that up before, <laughs> before saying it, but I'm gonna say yes. Let's do this take twice. Yep. But uh, no, and apparently they have no affiliation with Mysterio <laughs> at all. And we're just gonna cut whichever one we want. Your friends are in trouble. So this has got a lot of people being like Spider-Man Noir, which it isn't, but it's obviously in Spider-Man Noir it. minus the trench coat, really. Yeah. Uh, this is an awesome suit from what we can see so far. Um, this seems to be like some sort of stealth suit. But it's very different from the stealth suit in the comics. Uh, if you'll remember in the comics, there's Peter's stealth suit has like lights on it with different modes and stuff. It's kind of more yeah, sci-fi. It's really like Tron. Yeah, it's more Tron-y yeah. than anything. This seems more like a, a tactical kind of military stealthy um, tone to it. So I'm looking forward to seeing like this is obviously going to be a major set piece in the movie to yeah. break out a new suit. And Mysterio. I love he, this suit. Man. He looks good. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, usually when there's a reveal of a new hero or new villain, the first thing everybody does is pick apart the suit. But I think, let us know what you think in the comments. I think he looks good. Yeah, this is, I'm very surprised. And you know, Mysterio, kind of a goofy villain, a lot of people think. Uh, but from the looks of it, this is like a really great look that they chose for him. Yeah. Now, okay, we were talking about this earlier. I'm gonna see if I can pause on like the right spot. Okay, Mysterio's origins, for those of you who don't know, at least in the Prime Universe, is that he's a stuntman and a special, or special effects artist. And he, Spider-Man pisses him off, so he starts using his special effects to, to simulate, to make it look like he's a magician. Right. You know, and rob banks and you know, do lots of bad stuff. But this doesn't look like smoke and mirrors and wires. This looks to me like Doctor Strange kind of magic, you know? Yeah, they're definitely pulling from like the magical vocabulary of the MCU in terms of the visuals, like the big shapes appearing in front of things to be like shields and stuff. Um, Do you think he's magic? I think he's magic, I could be wrong. So here's my whole thing is like, obviously they're posturing that Mysterio in this universe is a good guy. But anyone who knows anything about Mysterio knows that every single story arc that he's been involved in involves some sort of trickery. You think one thing and then by the end you're like, oh, Mysterio tricked us. Sometimes he's not even involved in the story and at the end it was like, it was all, uh, all a trick by Mysterio, the, the, the dastardly Old Mysterio. Old Man Logan. Old Man yeah. Logan is a perfect example of that. Um, and one of the things that I think could be potentially a reason why this looks like magic and seems to work like magic is if he's actually in fact behind all of this, the elementals may be working for him. Maybe this is going into like too much speculation, but uh, that would explain why someone who traditionally can't really use magic in the comics would the make fear. it look like he could because they're all in cahoots. Um, whether or not that's true, whether or not they decide, no, this Mysterio, Mysterio is fully magic, that's a cool angle. I have no issue with that. But just from what I know about the character and given like his history in the comics, this seems like evidence that uh, He's working with the elementals, and there's some reason why he would want people to think that he's a hero for some reason. Uh, well, remains to be seen. That's my, my hypothesis here. I'm going to lay it all down right now. This is what I think is going on. It's not a coincidence that Spider-Man is in you know, Italy at the same time as Mysterio. I think Nick Fury rigged his, you know, his trivia team uh, to win a trip to go here because he knew that this guy was up to something. And I think there's a storyline in the... Spider-Man the Animated Series, I think mm. it's Mysterio's first episode, where he pretends to be Spider-Man, robs banks, does some bad stuff, and then his plan is to show up as Mysterio later, fight Spider-Man, and then look like a hero. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of going on here. He's, go he's, he's working with the elementals to be a hero, to stop them, mm -hmm. so he can position himself as a hero to... Do something. Do something. Do something. Do bad. Do do something. Hey, we're not writing this movie, so we don't know what that something is. But make it a sky seems beam. Like make a big sky make beam. Make a big sky beam. Make a big sky beam. Of course, yes, obviously. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think that's it. Yep. I think that's everything we have. Is there anything you guys noticed? Do you think we made any mistakes? If so, you'll let us know. Oh yeah. Uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Is that what people say in the outro? I Smash think so. the like button. Smash it. All right, thank you, Mr. Fury, thank and you. thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.